Rivera. popular players at the club. Before I start asking some questions, we've got a very, very important um, raffle, if you want to call it that. This is the lunch with the players. So before we get into these questions, uh, mm -hmm. who could you dig deep? Yeah. And it's a blue ticket, Y42, Kelly Chan Elgi, is it? Kelly, Kelly Chan Elgi. A blue ticket, Y42, with the lunch with the players. Kelly, could you please make your way to the information caravan just on my left-hand side? And you'll enjoy lunch with some of the players up in the corporate box. You'll be able to watch what's happening down here on stage. So, Kelly, please head to the caravan. One touch. One touch, please. All right, once again, let's welcome Brent Weirer. Good, One great touch. to have you One here. Touch. Yeah, put your hands together. And uh, I guess the first question we all want to know, um, we haven't seen him yet over the last couple of weeks. How's the body, mate? How's the progress going on? Um, we're going to see you out on the park pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, the other night I was just resting, so that's why I wasn't out there. Well, body's good, um, so I'll probably go up and play where we're playing this week. I think it's against Brisbane, but uh, not 100% sure. Mate, uh, like a, a trip up to the Gold Coast, if that's just what to play you at your first game. Now, in saying that, do you realise that you're one of our most experienced players? In fact, you are our most experienced player now. Did you realise that? I, I did some homework on you this morning. I am, but uh, Chance Bateman is still the oldest. I'm not I didn't say you are the oldest. I did not say that, but there's no doubt that you've played more games than any other player here at the Hawthorne Football Club. Not necessarily with the Hawks, but with a few other clubs as well, but it's hard to imagine. I think you debuted about 2000, the year 2000. Mate, yeah, yeah. Coming up to 10 years, I guess you can't believe it. Well, uh, I just completed my 11th pre-season, so uh, time's flown. Um, but it's been exciting and uh, looking forward to this year. Okay. Well, uh, when you talk about your 11th pre-season, how does this compare to this pre-season? Have you just gradually been increasing the tempo, or how have you seen this pre-season into, say, your That's last couple? Um, it's probably been my most consistent. I had a shoulder operation uh, back in August. Um, that's no worries at the moment, so um, it's probably been my best pre-season so far and uh, just looking forward to the season and uh, having a good year. Goo, being um, one of our most experienced players and you know, being in the AFL scene for 10 years now, do you see yourself taking a little bit more responsibility in a mentoring role with a lot of our young players? Is that something that you enjoy or look forward to or is that an actual a part of your makeup. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I suppose once once the uh, young boys come into the club, you need the older blokes around them to uh, just take them through the first couple of months. And uh, I've been doing that with a couple of young boys and trying to help them out. And uh, hopefully they can play a couple of games this year and uh, uh, a lot more for the, for the future. So you mentioned some of our young boys, um, some of the people in front of us, some of our members may not be aware of some of those. Just a couple of names that we can be looking out for, whether they're first year players or maybe they were here in 2009. Who are a couple of players that have caught your eye over the pre-season? Um, probably Geordie Williams, he's a, uh, he's a kid from uh, Chuka. Um, he's, he runs uh, unbelievably and uh, he's a left footer, another left footer we've got. So, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to watching him play and uh, come on over the next year or two. Now, just a final couple of questions from me, mate. Do you, um, what is it about left footers at this footy club? Uh, you're one of, I don't know, it must be over 15 or 18 left footers we have here at this club. Is it a fallacy that they are a little bit more skillful? Obviously, you'll say yes. But what is it about left footers? No, definitely. <laughs> better school than for this, and they, uh, I reckon they look better too, nicely. They? they look better. Well, do you realise that you have got a bit of a cult following around the footy club? Do you notice on match day, out there on the G, when Brent Weir gets the ball, do you hear that ooh around the stadium? Are you aware of that? Don't say you're not. Uh, no, I do hear it, but also when Dewey was here as well. Yeah. The, uh, the crowd got into him. Well, I didn't get into him, but uh, yeah, we had Dewey as well. So. Well, it's all going to be mm, this year. It won't be Dewey, especially if we're playing, uh, playing Sydney. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, members, please thank Brent Weir and wish him all the very best for 2010. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Dewey. Okay, before we introduce 